we are. Today we're going to talk about why it is so important for you to get six to eight hours of sleep every night. Your brain needs it. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you what your brain does during that six to eight hours. All right. Here's what happens. When you are asleep for six to eight hours, your brain, what it's doing, it's organizing your life. It's organizing what you thought, what you learned, what you heard, what you felt, everything you saw. It's organizing. What did it mean that that hottie guy was checking me out in the hallway the other day? I've been flirting with him for a couple of weeks and now he's like checking me out. I think he's going to come talk to me. It organizes all of that super important stuff. All right. So here's what they're saying. You have to have six to eight hours. And what they've just learned is that your brain, it's kind of like a dishwasher. That's right. It's like a dishwasher. And much like a dishwasher, where this dishwasher is like spraying up water to clean out all the gook and grime off of these nasty dishes, all right, your brain does the same thing with all of the information that you have taken in on the day. Except for, if you don't run your dishwasher, you just get junky, icky dishes that you really can't use the next day. If you don't let your brain clean itself out, with all of the brain fluid flushing through it and cleaning out all the icky stuff that you don't need, they're saying that you could get dementia. Dementia is what happens when your brain gets kind of sick and you can't do stuff like kind of think things out or you can't th do things like complete sentences and maybe you lose all of your stuff. Usually older people get dementia, but they're talking about sleep deprived people can start showing signs of dementia. You don't want it. You want to make sure that you get six to eight hours of sleep every night. All right. Now, so here's what we're going to do. Here we are. We're in my kitchen and it's kind of a mess, right? It's the end of the day. This is kind of going to be, this is kind of like your brain at the end of the day. There's like all sorts of stuff <laughs> that is all over your brain. Things that you've learned, things that you've thought about, things that you've felt, right? And all the stuff is out on the counter. Here's the analogy. We've just gotten done doing dinner. Now I know that I'm going to need to clean this kitchen up. Why? Because in the morning, I'm going to want some pancakes. That's right. I'm going to want some pancakes. And so I want it to be pretty easy for me to cook my pancakes. So I know I'm going to need this. This is a tool that you need for pancakes. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to organize it so I know where to get that information. This is a bike route of Portland, and I didn't, I don't need it for tomorrow morning, but I kind of want it out of my way. It's in the junk drawer. Every kitchen needs one, but I know where to go get it this weekend when I go, want to go on my bike ride. I would be wise to spend some time cleaning up the kitchen counter. Why? Fully because I want it to be really easy for me to cook my pancakes in the morning. I want an easy access. I want there to be plenty of space for me to do my next thing for my life. Here we have a bowl that we use to marinate the chicken. I'm gonna put that away because I might need that in the morning. Here we have another tool, the frying pan. I'm gonna put that away because I'll probably need that to cook pancakes in the morning, right? All right, as you can tell, the kitchen's still a mess, but for the sake of saving time on the video, I don't want you to get bored. We're gonna kind of fast forward. Let's pretend all the other tools are put away. I go to bed, I get my six to eight hours of sleep, I come back down in the morning. I have a kitchen counter on which to do my, do my pancakes. I'm going to come over here to the pantry. This is all organized. Rocking my crusties pancake mix. That's right. I'm going to put that out. Super easy for me to get a hold of. I know where I put this tool because I put it away. It's easy for me to find it. I know where I put this tool because it's easy for me to find it. I put it away the night before, right? I know 
where this tool is, easy access. It's the same thing when you go to sleep at night and you let your brain organize itself. You're at school one day, you get a huge algebra problem, the teacher tells you all this information, you're like, whoa, this is hard. You go home, you do some homework, you start understanding it, you go to sleep six to eight hours. Your brain starts organizing everything you have thought about, felt, everything you've seen, smelled, that cute guy that was checking out in the hallway, that's the important thing, my friend. Your brain organizes all of that so that when you come in the next day and you sit down on algebra, boom! All that information that you learned about algebra the day before has been organized in your brain and you can access it easily. That's the secret, right? That is why it is so important for you to get six to eight hours of sleep every day. I guarantee you, you start doing that, your life will be way easier. Do it.